Okay, what I want to go through now is quite simply how to review your orders. So this is something that you've done, you've, you've taken the effort of finding suppliers, getting your products sourced, you found them, taken the time to source them, ship them to your house, get them in, you know, created the, added yourself to the listings on Amazon, you've prepped the items, you've shipped them into Amazon, you've set the prices correctly, and now you've sold the item. So well done, like generally well done. And what we want to do now is check the sales, so look at the products which are selling. Because hey, this is the part that we're really excited about. We sold the product, how much do we sell it for? And you know, should we go out and buy some more? That's the real question. So before I get into that, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Thomas Parkinson and I run the Amazon lead service Fast Track FBA. Um, this is a service whereby we provide UK based leads for UK sellers. And what we do is we show you all the deals we've got and you get to pick and choose the ones that you want, which work for your business. I've also been selling on Amazon now for three years and I've been doing six figures every single year. So this is a good chance for me to share some top tips and and some tricks that I've learned in my time with you. And obviously, if you're on your Amazon journey, hopefully this is going to help you out. But hey, let's begin. Right today, what I'm going to be talking about is really just checking those sales. So you've made your products, you've got your products sourced, shipped into Amazon, and you've sold them. Like generally, well done. This is what it is about. It's about making the money selling. So now what we're really interested in doing is getting these products out of, you know, getting getting an understanding of what these products are on Amazon Seller Central, and potentially looking at maybe reordering, doing other bits and bobs. That's what we are interested in. So let's have a look now at some orders that I've done in the past in one of my Amazon accounts. Right, here we are. So this is one of the Amazon accounts that I've got. And on here, you can see straight away when you come in, you're going to be looking at just at the top here on this bar. We've got things like here, you can choose the marketplaces, the number of orders we've got, seven day sales, any buyer messages and buy box wins. So for us, what we're going to be looking at is just coming over into this order section and it says here how many orders I've got. So UK, Germany, France, Spain, and Italy. Seller fulfilled, which we're not doing. We're doing FBA and then FBA fulfilled. So I've got zero across pending, but I've got here FBA or FBA pending. So I've got 10 ready to go out. So let's click on this and see which ones have been sold. Oh, I need to do it on the UK. <laughs> So what that's going to do is quite simply just load up my orders. So you can see here I've had 53 orders in the last seven days. And it, what it says here is when the order date happened, the order number and what the product is and how much I sold it for. Now what you're going to see straight away is it says order status pending. Now while the customer has paid for that, clicked buy now, added it to cart and checked out, doesn't actually mean it's been sold yet because it hasn't left Amazon's warehouses. So sorry, it has been sold, but it hasn't been confirmed, i.e shipped and dealt with. So everything is pending until Amazon's literally taken that product, put it in a box, put the label on it and shipped it out and got it out. It doesn't have to be with a customer yet, but the moment it gets out, that will change from pending to complete. So here you've got quite a few products that I've sold over the last couple of seven days. And if we scroll down, what you're going to see here is payment complete. So Amazon doesn't take that payment until that order is finalized, i.e. out the door with Amazon's warehouses. So for you, when you're managing your Amazon business, really important to be looking at these kind of products or looking at them on a regular basis and saying, hey, what is actually selling? Because when you're looking at this, you might spot something that's sold really quickly. Like, oh my God, maybe I just shipped in this like 15 days ago or and it's sold out really quickly. I need to go out and buy some more today. So daily check on your sales this is not only exciting for the fact that you've got money coming in, but second of all, what should you be buying more of? Which is going to help you in your Amazon business to just, should we say, grow and scale as you're going to keep going back and buying more of those products. So checking regular regular checking of your Amazon orders it's gonna be super important to help you in your Amazon business so here is a little bit about just how you can go in and check your orders now if you come into orders up here and click manage orders and I'll just share this with you now what you're gonna see is the seller fulfilled orders so if you do it this way it's gonna say zero orders and the reason is is you do not or you sh probably won't likely have any seller fulfilled orders if you're doing everything for um, Amazon fulfilled orders the FBA then obviously they're gonna pop up in the other method we just showed you but if you go straight to orders and view orders that is only gonna show you 
seller fulfilled orders or fulfillment by merchant and that's not something that you're going to be looking at hence why you're looking and go why have i not got any deals or why have i not got any orders so just be aware of that right hopefully you found this interesting hopefully you found it informative and maybe if you're just starting out in your amazon business and you're just wondering how you check your orders that's a really simple way of doing it so if you like this kind of content give me a big thumbs up i really like doing it and thumbs up just lets me know a like lets me know that this is the kind of content that you like and hey if you've got any questions maybe there's something that i haven't talked through or maybe i've gone through a bit too fast drop a message down below in the comments obviously i get back to everyone and hopefully find this really useful and then finally if you are watching this on the youtube replay be sure to click the subscribe button because that will allow you to get the videos the moment they come out obviously this is going to help you in your amazon business but for me thomas parkinson at fast track fba thank you very much